Welcome to Shaping the Future, new arrivals at the Venery Collection, a mixture of works on different themes, including Abraham Solomon's live Molière scene, Nigerian Benet Wongu's fabulous dancer, Austrian emigre Marie-Louise von Motosicki's flamboyant circus, and Lancelot Ribeiro, an Indian-born artist's fantastic King Lear. Next to that is his wonderful townscape with this collage-like effect. Fred Ullman's eerie sunset Welsh cottages. Alfred Cohen's theme looking across London towards Nelson's Column. And George Mayer Martin's The March of the Parents, commemorating the death of his parents in the Giel Ghetto. Paul Jeffrey's theme takes us to a bustling Marais, the Jewish Quarter in Paris. It's made post-war, but probably set prior to the Second World War. Ernst Eisenmeier's Law and Order from 1962 looks at themes of oppression and violence prevalent throughout his work. In contrast is the warm, close-knit family group of Oravida Pizarro's refugees from 1947. And here we have two self-portraits by the late Sir Anthony Cher on the left of himself as Primo Levi, made in 2008, and to its right, this work by Arby Kitai from two years prior to his death, a red self-portrait as Masaccio with this wonderful poppy palette. In this room, works on a family theme include Alfred Walmart's theatrical mother and sister with this wonderful impasto bringing the portrait to life. Next to them is Georg Ehrlich's commemorative Two Sisters, showing his wife Bettina and her elder sister Mira, who sadly died in England in 1944. Here we have two fine works by Nasa Azam, the first Pakistani-born artist to enter the Venery collection showing his mother and brother and a young cousin, all made when he was age 21. Here we have the baby head of Augustus John's son, Romilly John, with his wonderful smooth helmet of hair. It contrasts with the green patina and rougher edges to this little head by Dora Gordine of Paulette Pavlidis, a Greek Cypriot refugee. This wall shows drawings and etchings by a variety of artists, including George Mayer Martin's rare early etching of a boy with a teddy bear from 1925, and this self-portrait by Chagall made in the same year in France. 